based on the theorem, radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Now here we have a question which is not supported with the figure. But we have all the possible information required for us to draw the figure. So let's read the question properly. The question says, in a circle with center P, a chord AB is parallel to a tangent and intersects the radius drawn from the point of contact at the midpoint of the radius. If AB is 12 units, find the radius of the circle. Now, we need to have a circle with center P for sure. And here we need to have a special segment which is the chord and whose name is AB. But this chord AB has got certain prerequisites. The chord AB has to be parallel to the tangent. So let's have a tangent here. Line CD is a tangent and the point of contact which is specified in the question, we will take it as point A. Now this chord AB will intersect one more segment which is the radius but that radius has to be drawn through the point of contact. So let's draw segment PE as the radius. And the chord AB has to intersect the radius at the midpoint of the radius. So let's take F as the midpoint of the radius PE. Now here comes the chord. The chord AB will be now drawn in such a way that it is passing through point F, but more importantly, it has to be parallel to AB. Now this is what we have. AB is 12 units and what we need to do is we need to find the radius of the circle which means we need to find how much is PE. Let's see how do we approach the sum. Because PE is a radius at the point of contact, we already have a tangent and we know we have a property which says radius is perpendicular to the tangent. That means children, we can now say that angle PEC will be how much? It will be 90 degree. Let this be result number one and the reason is radius is perpendicular to the tangent. But we further know that CD is parallel to the chord AB. This is given. And children, on the transversal PE, we see a special pair of angles. We see a pair of corresponding angles that is angle PEC and angle PFA. Now because the lines are parallel, we know the relation between the corresponding angles, they are equal. Hence, we say angle PEC is equals to angle PFA. Let this be result number two. The reason is corresponding angles. But out of this, we already know that angle PEC is 90. That means angle PFA is also 90 degree. The result number three, we got it from one and two. But let's see how does it help us. Because angle PFA is 90, we can now conclude that PF is perpendicular to AB. But what is AB for the circle? It's a chord. We are saying the same thing again and again. AB is the chord. And we now have a perpendicular from the center to the chord. We know the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord. Right, children? So because PF is perpendicular to AB, we can now say AF will be equals to FB, which will be equals to half of AB. The same reason what we spoke now, the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord. AB is given as 12, so we'll substitute 12. So when we reduce it, AB becomes 6 units. Now what? We have AF is equals to 6 units. We have AF as 6 units. Now we'll have the radius. Let's assume the radius to be 2x. Now because PE is 2x, We'll take PA also as 2x because radii of the same circle are equal. Now what happens because of this? PA and PE are 2x units. We know F is the midpoint of segment PE. That means PF will be half of PE because F is the midpoint. And half of 2x will now give us x. So PF will be equals to x units children. How does it help? Let's consider triangle PFA. Now in triangle PFA, we know measure angle PFA is 90 degree, right? We proved it earlier. That means this triangle is a right angle triangle. Let's apply the Pythagoras theorem. So we now say PA square is equal to PF square plus AF square by the Pythagoras theorem. So now we substitute the values. That is 2x the whole square is equal to x square plus 6 square, right children? So we now have 4x square is equal to x square plus 36. Let's bring the like terms together. 4x square minus x square equals to 36. That means 3x square is 36. So x square is 12. So x becomes root of 12 and x will be root of 4 into 3. So x becomes 2 root 3, right? But we never wanted x. We wanted the radius. 
PA and PE, the value is 2x that we assume. So 2 times 2 root 3, hence it now becomes 4 root 3. So the radius of the circle is now equals to 4 root 3 units. We put a beautiful looking box and that's what we need in the sum children.